In this chapter, you will discover which actuators assist the engine in fulfilling its functions and how these actuators optimize the operating conditions of the engine. You'll find out about the function and effect of the electronically controlled throttle valve, the electronically controlled injection valves, and electronically controlled ignition. The engine control unit basically controls engine running with the use of three actuators. The throttle valve, the injection valve, the ignition coil or spark plug. Please choose an actuator by clicking on it with the mouse. The engine control unit passes on the driver's demand for increased engine output via the throttle valve actuator. The air path in the intake pipe is opened or narrowed by opening or closing the throttle valve. The more air can flow through, that is, the more the vehicle is accelerated, the more petrol is added to the mixture, causing the engine to operate more quickly and powerfully. The injection valves are the main engine control actuators along with the ignition coils and spark plugs. The mixture is produced by injecting finely sprayed petrol. The output variable in this case is the quantity of air supplied to the engine. As the amount of air flowing in increases, more petrol has to be injected to create the optimum mixture for the individual operating conditions. The injection valves therefore respond to the air mass values recorded by the engine control unit. This is why they are connected to the sensors of the throttle valve and intake pipe. In the case of the injection valves, the valve opening times as well as injection timing are controlled. In turn, injection timing depends on ignition timing. Exact synchronization of injection and ignition timing is essential for effective running of the engine. In the interactive exercises, you will discover how the engine control actuators respond when certain input signals are changed. You can try out the most important signals in order to achieve an overview of the interrelations. Here is the system diagram for the engine control unit with the most important sensors and actuators. For each sensor measurement in the following exercises, you can adjust the corresponding control elements of the engine control unit by setting the actuator controllers to plus or minus or by activating both actuators if you want to maintain the existing position. These exercises only take into consideration the immediate response of the specified sensors and actuators in the individual driving situation. All other factors have been ignored. Please select one of the marked sensors. During acceleration, the hot film air mass sensor signals increased cooling of the hot film to the engine control system. Please change the settings on the actuators accordingly and confirm by clicking on OK. Correct. Increased cooling of the hot film means that more air is flowing through. Accordingly, more petrol must be injected. This is why the period of injection is prolonged. Corresponding to this, ignition must begin earlier, which is why the point of injection is moved forwards. When driving on level roads, less pressure on the accelerator pedal is signaled to the engine control unit by the pedal position sensor. Please change the settings on the actuators accordingly and confirm by clicking on OK.
correct. If less pressure on the accelerator pedal is signaled to the engine control unit, the throttle valve is not opened quite as much. This means that less air is taken in. Accordingly, less petrol has to be injected. This is why the injection period is shorter. Corresponding to this, the point of ignition must be later, which is why injection timing is moved towards the late position.